Hi, it's Hans here from Wet King Electric. We're here to show you one of our RV boat DIY kits. This is our Heinwa 330 watt panel kit with the Renogy Rover 30 charge controller. And we have the two MC4 cables for you. We got these come from the solar panel, go to the charge controller. All the ends are made up for you. You can see right here. You got your positive and negative leads. And over here we have your battery cables. And again, you can see that we've put a fuse in one for you and we've already put the battery crimps on. So you don't have to buy any tools to put that all together. This is our Renogy Rover 30 charge controller. That's part of our kit. And it comes with a nice manual and fancy Renogy stickers. Renogy card. This is the charge controller itself. It's the Renogy Rover 30. Comes with the bag of screws. And also comes with the battery cable. Okay. We're going to show you how to put one of our kits together. This is one of our DIY kits with a Renogy charge controller. So we're going to start off with the battery cables. So the first thing we do is connect a red cable into the battery plus. And just tighten the screw. Make sure it's tight, like this one came loose, so we're just going to redo it. You always want to make sure all electrical terminals are really, really tight. It's very important when you're doing electrical. But I can feel now that it's starting to grab properly. So we'll tighten it up nice. She's snug. That's what we want to see, a nice tight electrical connection. And make sure that nothing jumps across a positive or negative. And again, there's the battery negative. We'll open this guy up all the way. Plug him in. And then we tighten him up. He's nice and tight. So the next thing we do, on the end of our cables, we have a black cable. You connect that to your battery. So here's your battery negative. Connect this to your battery negative. And tighten it up nice and secure because we want to have nice tight electrical connections. We don't want anything loose. The next thing you do is you'll see we have a fuse built in. The fuse like this. This is when power flows and this way it doesn't flow any electricity. So this is closed, that's open. So what we're gonna do now, leave it in the open position and connect this to the positive end of the terminal. Again, the red wire positive the battery. And we wanna be nice and tight. Here we go, nice and tight. And then as you, at this point, can already test your battery connection. You will see, as soon as we close up the fuse here, you'll see the display will start coming up on your Energy Rover. And basically showing your battery voltage and not charging, because we have no solar panel connected yet. So for now, we just open the fuse, just push it, shuts the power off and now, now you see we have the power turned off to your charge controller so the next step is to connect your solar panels so this is labeled PV plus and PV minus I just plug it on in there tighten it up and again make sure that the wire is in nice and secure always give it a little tug and a little wiggle 
once you got it done. So there, the red, you see PV Plus. That's part of our kit. We even color code the wires for you. Now here is your PV negative. Again, tighten up the PV negative. It's even labeled. PV stands for photovoltaic, which means your solar panel. That's what PV stands for. So you tighten that one up nice and tight. It's good to go. Okay, now the next thing you do is you plug in this guy. They're automatically color coded. They only fit in one way. You just plug the cables we've made up for you straight into a cell panel. So there, there it is right there. So there's your negative. So do your negative cable first, because it's black. Then what we recommend is you turn on your fuse and you'll see the charge controller coming up with the voltage from the battery and everything. And the next thing we do is we plug this into your positive cable. You'll see it's red, it only fits one way, and this guy actually has a red ring on it from the manufacturer showing you it's positive. So you plug that into there, and that's it. You're up charging on solar power right now. Okay, here we show you that we're actually tied into a solar panel and the top light shows that we're charging. And again, it's showing that here and it's showing the amperage. The battery's pretty well full, so it's limiting the current. We got 0.69 of an amp. And it's, uh, that's what's coming from a solar panel to the battery. But basically what it's not showing you is that that's coming from a solar panel to your charge controller. And the voltage coming in from the solar panels, this is normal for our big 60 cell panels, is 33 volts. And the battery is at 14.4 under charge, so it's putting a 14.4 volt charge on there. And that's into equalize mode if you want to do that. And that's your load, in case you want to connect a load. And that's your temperature of your batteries. So to connect your battery temperature probe, they provide you with one. It's pretty easy. Renergy does provide you with a battery probe. The only thing you do is you plug this guy in right here and connect that up to your battery. Just lay it down, tape it down, and you're done. That's your battery pro. Now the next thing that Renergy offers, and we do have these in stock, it's an extra add-on, but there is a Bluetooth option, so you can monitor everything on your phone. Now this Bluetooth dongle, as they call it, just plugs right into here. And then you can monitor all your stuff on your phone. So this is your typical, our special $599 kit. So it includes this, includes your charge controller, includes the cables, includes these cables, includes the solar panel, and it includes your brackets for mounting your solar panel. There's four of these, and all the screws, nuts, and bolts are all included too. These guys just clip onto your solar panel like so. And with the nuts and bolts included, you just bolt them on like that, and then you can bolt this to your RV. And this is our Renergy 599 30-amp kit, and these panels will charge at 12 volts at 25 amps. Okay, thank you.